Live today, a North Houston community will come together to remember a murder that forever changed families in that area. 11-year-old Josue Flores was stabbed to death on his way home from school on this date one year ago. We spoke with organizers ahead of today's memorial event, and our Kathy Hernandez is joining us live with how Josue's death has united this community. Well, good morning. Josue Flores was only 11 years old, but his death created change and unity here in this community, a community that still remembers him here at this memorial. His tragic death shook the community. People questioning how and why anyone could kill an 11 year old boy walking home from school. Josue Flores was two blocks away when someone stabbed him to death on James and Fulton a year ago today. In the days following, hundreds united for memorials and marches calling for justice. Everybody's coming together. It's like this is our community and we should see it as if something happens to one child, we feel like we see it as that's our child as well. A bill which is already passed in the state Senate is up for consideration in a House committee. It would provide transportation for students in high crime areas just like this one. And this is in regards trying to uh, bring more funding to the school. Uh, like, for instance, for Josue Flores, um, he walked to school, him and maybe closer to maybe 80% of children around his area walk to school. And maybe if there was transportation provided for him and, and the others, you know, maybe he would still been with us today. The community is holding a vigil at Holy Name Catholic Church on Cochrane and Hogan at 5.30 tonight. Josue's family hopes that no one forgets about Josue or his tragic story. A boy with dreams of being a doctor cut short. Reporting live in North Houston, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News.